In this work, we propose a novel model for 3D scene flow estimation. 3D scene flow refers to the dense three-dimensional vector field describing the motion of each point on every surface in the scene. We consider the minimal setup necessary for scene flow estimation, which consists of two calibrated stereo images captured at two consecutive points in time. Finding correspondences in all four views yields depth information at both frames and hence uniquely defines the 3D scene flow. While early methods for scene flow estimation formulate the problem in a variational setting, segment-based approaches which encourage local rigidity between neighbouring superpixels dominate the benchmark leaderboards today. Here we follow the second line of work, but going even one step further. In contrast to enforcing rigidity of adjacent superpixels, we encourage whole structures in the scene, such as cars or the static elements, to follow the same rigid motion. We believe that this is a reasonable assumption, in particular for urban scenes, as illustrated in this video. Note that most of the objects move rigidly with respect to the observer, in particular the large background component. While pedestrians exhibit some articulation, their dominant motion is the most important one in an autonomous driving setting. Based on these observations, our objective is to decompose the scene into its rigidly moving components. We pose scene flow estimation as inference in a conditional random field. We first partition the image into superpixels and associate each superpixel with a plane variable n describing its 3D geometry as well as an object index k. A second set of variables captures the rigid motion parameters of all objects. We formulate our objective in terms of a discrete continuous CRF energy comprising a data and a smoothness term. Structural rigidity is implicitly captured by enforcing the scene to be explained with only a few objects. To approximately minimise this energy, we leverage max product particle belief propagation. Aside from our model, we propose a novel scene flow dataset and ground truth, which we derive from the Kitty raw dataset. In contrast to previous realistic scene flow datasets, our dataset comprises independently moving objects. Similarly to the Kitty stereo and flow dataset, we accumulate the static background using seven adjacent laser scans. In addition, we fit accurate 3D CAD models to all moving objects. In this figure, we illustrate two examples from our dataset, which comprises 200 training and 200 test scenes in total. We evaluate our approach on this new dataset and obtain promising results with respect to the state of the art. In the following, we show some qualitative results of our approach. For comparison, we first show results of a variational baseline. The top half of this figure shows the disparity estimates, disparity ground truth and disparity errors in red. The bottom half of this figure shows the optical flow results. Here, we show the results of Vogel et al. on the same image. Finally, we show our results. Note how our method is able to reduce disparity and flow errors while simultaneously segmenting the objects from the background. The proposed dataset also provides novel challenges to the community. In this example, illumination conditions are very challenging as little light is present when driving through the tunnel. In this case, the motion of the foreground object is too large to be reliably estimated. This is also illustrated by looking at sparse feature correspondences calculated on the four images. Finally, we show a video of our disparity in optical flow results over time on several sequences of the Kitty Raw dataset.